projected deuteronomy 30 and verse 19 verse 19 says i call heaven and earth to record this day against you that i have set before you listen carefully life and death i have set before you blessing and cursing but i can advise you choose life that both thou and your seed may live look up the first revelation here is that decisions do not affect you alone whatever decision you make will affect you and everyone under your care biologically spiritually sociologically choose life so that you and your seed may live there are consequences that our decisions provide not just for us but for everyone connected to us write this down please decisions decide destiny it is true this is not just some sociological cliche our destinies are decided not just by the will of god but by the decisions that we take we live in a world where advancement happens at the instance of choices and decisions our world is full of people today who made all kinds of choices with their lives there are people in old age today some celebrating their decisions and the choices they have made are we together some regretting the decisions and the choices they have made one of the seven when god created man man as the highest of his creation there are seven things god gave man one of it is the power to choose the power to choose from the day god gave man the power to choose it became scripturally incorrect for god to veto the will of man and impose things even at the expense of your eternal salvation god still allows you to choose as passionate as his love is towards man he didn't say no i love you too much you are you don't know what you are doing you're on your way to hell you must go to heaven no he gave you the power to choose a choice that even affects your eternal destiny god gave man the power to choose listen very carefully god will not stop you from making your decisions however it is important for us to know that you do not choose consequences you only make choices it is the choices that choose the consequences please listen very carefully you only have the power to make choices you do not have the power to choose the consequences of the choices a consequence is the resultant effect of a decision good or bad our world is full of people today blaming others for their lives we blame parents listen carefully we blame government sometimes we are right there is some legitimacy in what we are saying but most times we live in a in a sociological context where irresponsibility is marketable if my father were serious i would be this if my mother were serious agreed they were not the best but we forget that god had given us the power to choose and that your destiny does not move just at the decisions of others alone you have the power to literally navigate yourself towards the path of life or the path of destruction using decisions i've shared this year as a story i read about it years ago there were two gentlemen who were the sons of a drunkard very serious drunkard 
and one of the sons got frustrated because of the lifestyle of his father and then he went on to live a very wayward life very responsible lived his life the way he wanted then the other one decided to be challenged by the lifestyle of his father and he said no my life will not be like this he made a decision fortunately he found a very serious mentor who guided him eventually he went on to be a very successful person then one day the brothers were brought together and they were interviewed brother a why did you become such an irresponsible person here was his response he said did i have any choice no no how did he put it he said um it was a justification he was trying to bring like my father was the cause for instance my father was the cause for my irresponsibility they asked the gentleman what motivated you to become such a responsible person and he said my father was the cause same reason that made someone to head on to become a failure in life it was the same reason that motivated another person another example someone was coming into a new territory and when he came in as he was passing he met a farmer and he said sorry i hear that this land is full of armed robbers and dangerous people and the farmer said you are right and the guy passed he continued farming another person came into the city and he said i hear there are loving people here very empathetic and the farmer said you are right and the man passed for both questions the question of armed robbers and wicked people and the question of good people and sensible people the farmer's response was you are right that means all of them are in the same domain it depends on what you see it depends on who told you what are we together decisions decide destiny that means you can make up your mind that you are going to be great you can make up your mind that i will live for jesus it's a decision do you know listen we sometimes as men of god we teach people as though their brains are empty they don't do anything with it it's just the holy spirit who says say this or demons say say this no god gave man an independent mind that is rational and can take decisions that are respected in the realm of the spirit the parable of the prodigal son remember the bible says he came to himself he didn't say the holy ghost spoke to him he didn't even say the demon punished him the gentleman came to himself and this is what he said he said how many hired servants does my father have and i am here eating with the swine i will arise my decision i will take that risk and go to my father and i will say father i have seen against heaven and against you i am not worthy to be called your son take me as one of your servants the moment he took that decision the father started honoring his decision too they met on the way not in the house 